Robert Kiyosaki and other charlatans like him are even bigger crooks than those on Wall Street because he specifically prey on people, their vulnerabilities, and desperation. Sure, Wall Street is filled with crooks, but they engage in securities fraud to enrich their bank accounts without targeting specific individuals. Over the years, Kiyosaki has moved into the anti-establishment realm to leverage the huge audience. Like Alex Jones and Ron Paul, they want to tell you how bad the establishment is while selling you alternatives to defeat the establishment. This pitch is also used by gold charlatans as well as crypto promoters. It is important to note that Kiyosaki aligns himself with the mentally ill, clinically depressed, pseudo-intellectual disinfo agent and money-grabbing fraud Jordan Peterson. By speaking favorably of Peterson, Kiyosaki hopes to lure his cult of low IQ sheep for which he can sell more useless ghost-written books and seminars. Remember Peterson is a chronically depressed loser, as he has admitted. Kiyosaki released a clickbait video three ways to survive this market crash. He never addressed the three ways, but he tells his sheep to buy his board game to make you smarter. This is a great example of this predator targeting the millennials. After his video was published on March 13, 2020, the stock market made its low six days later and began a strong rally back into a bull market. How can we forget Kiyosaki also advised his sheep not to go to college? He also claims that jobs are for losers. Make sure to expand your credit so you can take on large level of debts by borrowing money to get a real education. A real education, guess where, from one of his scam seminars? Who would have figured 20 years ago that the internet would have made people so stupid to fall for this type of shit? Kiyosaki has pushed the limits of stupidity. This is the same guy who claims he's a great source of business and investment advice even though he has filed for bankruptcy several times.